This video is designed to help you better understand row unit downforce margin. Understanding margin is key to optimizing your planter for both active and non-active downforce systems. Downforce margin is the amount of additional downforce applied to a row unit above and beyond what is required for penetration and to achieve full planting depth. The John Deere Seedstar XP monitoring system measures downforce margin with load sensors located in the row unit gauge wheel depth control handle. Setting downforce margin properly will ensure that the openers achieve full planting depth and that the gauge wheels provide enough firming of the seed furrow to prevent the walls from collapsing. Proper downforce margin also prevents excessive row unit bounce, which may cause uneven seed spacing. To properly set the downforce margin for your conditions, follow these steps. Plant a small test strip. Note the high, low, and average margin value in the lower right-hand corner of the downforce run page. Stop the planter in the lowered position. Exit the cab and check to see what the seed furrow looks like at this setting. Do the walls of the seed furrow look firm but not compacted? Is the seed planted at a consistent depth? Are the gauge wheels firming the furrow correctly? In this example, the correct downforce margin is being shown for the field conditions. Notice how the seed is planted at a consistent depth. The walls of the seed furrow are firm and not crumbling, and the gauge wheels are firming the sides of the furrow correctly. If a field check confirms that downforce is correct for your field conditions, you have determined the proper target margin value for this field. The average and target margin should now be nearly equal. The function of the gauge wheels is to provide depth control and firm the soil against the openers to create a defined seed furrow. There are many signs when downforce margin is not properly set. Too little downforce margin will prevent the opener from planting at a consistent depth because the gauge wheel may intermittently come off the ground. Too little margin may also cause the seed furrow to collapse in front of the seed drop, resulting from too little pressure on the gauge wheels. In this example, too little downforce margin is being shown for the field conditions. Notice how the sides of the seed furrow are crumbling into the seed trench and the gauge wheel tracks are uneven. Low margin may also cause overall row unit ride quality to be poor. The gauge wheel should just barely be able to be turned when in the planting position. If the gauge wheels spin too easily, downforce margin should be increased. If the gauge wheels cannot be turned by hand, this is a sign the downforce margin may be too high for field conditions. If there is too much downforce margin, the side walls of the seed furrow may be compacted. The sides of the seed trench may appear slick or smeared. In this example, too much downforce margin has been set for the field conditions. Notice how the sides of the seed trench are compacted. The gauge wheels also may leave deep tracks or ridges in the soil from too much pressure. If your field check confirms that the downforce margin target is incorrect for your field conditions, you will need to either increase or decrease the row unit downforce setting to compensate and perform the field check again. Watch Using Set Point Control or the Using Active Pneumatic Downforce videos for more information on operating your system.